Welcome to the woods. I'm Kaido, land manager for Hinterland. I'm looking after the land here that the foundation bought in 2014. It's my great joy and pleasure to be caretaker of all of this. And right now we're harvesting trees from this forest that had been so badly neglected before we bought it um, to build our new conservation hub. It's a glorified name for our tractor shed and tool sheds and workshop, but it'll be a proper physical base for the work of the Hinterland Trust. And it's fantastic because we take the trees right from here and we build right over there. So there's no, no timber coming in from Norway or from far away. <clears throat> it's all right here. <clears throat> and of course, you know, we're doing it in the spirit of co-creation with nature. So the job I'm doing right now is taking the bark of the trees so we can use them, we can start drying. If we wait a lot longer, the bark bakes on. But before I do anything out here, before I start my chainsaw, I do prayers for the trees. I give thanks for what they give us. And I ask for their permission and ask their spirit to move into trees that are not marked for felling. So every single tree had a little prayer said for it before I cut it down. At the moment, in these crazy times with COVID, 90% of the work I do by myself. So I'm keeping happily busy, but we do have occasional volunteers coming out here to help us with this. And they get some exercise. They're doing some green gym, built a little shoulder and arm muscles. <laughs> and we have a little help. Hi there. So, yeah, this is winter work. And, and we're doing this now because if we wait longer, the bark will dry on and it'll be a lot more difficult to do. Commercially, people would peel trees in the summer, but because we co-create with nature, we only take trees down when they are dormant or semi-dormant in the winter, in the felling season between November and March. So it's a little bit more work now that it's all frozen and the sap isn't running quite as much as it would in the summer, but it's all part of uh, love in action, loving the land, <clears throat> loving what we do and trying to do cruel things with as much kindness as possible. I forgot to mention the squirrels. This is one of the favorite spots of the red squirrel. They keep coming in and out of here. And when you look up in the trees, you might find like up there is a squirrel drain. So sometimes we have marked trees for felling and then I walk around every tree and look very carefully. And if there is a squirrel dray in it or next to it, we will not cut the tree down. Because uh, the squirrel dray, uh, red squirrels are endangered and we very much appreciate having them here. 